Hello all, as a continuation of my lecture series in special electrical machines, in the previous video we have discussed about the EMF equation of a ideal permanent magnet synchronous motor and in this video we are going to discuss about the practical uh, permanent magnet sine wave motor and we are going to derive the EMF equation. So as we have already discussed, in order to derive any EMF equation, we will be considering the electromagnetic induction law which uh, tells that E is equal to minus En d phi by dt and this uh, for a practical uh, application and from there we have already derived the EMF equation like 4.44 FIM T phase. So this was the uh, EMF equation of permanent magnet a synchronous motor. Coming to practical BLPM, so in a practical permanent magnet sine wave motor, at the time of design itself, it is taken care to have the flux density uh, is sinusoidal distributed and rotor rotates with uniform angular velocity. So at the construction itself, uh, it is made like this, it is designed like this in order to have the flux density is sinusoidally distributed and the rotor rotates uniform angular velocity. So however, armature winding consists of short corded coils properly distributed over a set of slot. So these aspects reduce the magnetic magnitude of uh, EMF, phase EMF of an ideal winding. So by the factor KW1 which is known as winding factor, the fundamental component of flux. So the flux depends on the winding factor. So here we have three factors KW1 is equal to KS1, P1 and B1 where KS1 is the skew factor, slew fact, skew factor and uh, K, uh, B1 is the distribution factor, it, uh, pitch factor, KP1 is pitch factor and KB1 is distribution factor. It can also be mentioned as KD1. So So when the winding has coils that are distributed, then short pitched and skewed, the overall result is called as a fundamental winding factor. So the values which change with respect to the skew angle, uh, pitch factor and distribution factor, all these multiplied together, we call it as fundamental winding factor. So KS1 which is skew factor, so KS1 formula is sine rho by 2 and rho by 2. So Ks1 will be almost equal to 1. K pitch factor, Kp1 or this is also called a short coding factor. So the formula for this is either we can write cos rho by 2 or we can write sin m pi by 2 where m is coil span per pole pitch. So this is the uh, formulas for uh, Kw1, Kp1 and Ks1. And coming to the Kp1 the formula is this and coming to Kb1 which is distribution factor or which is also called as width factor the formula for Kd1 is sin Q uh, V by 2 and by uh, Q sin V by 2 where V is the slot angle which is in unit electrical radians which is in radians. So this is the EMF equation of uh, uh, per permanent magnet uh, synchronous motor and with the help of Kp1, Kp, uh, Kd1 and Ks1 and uh, we are going to multiply all the three factors with the original EMF equation. So the uh, we have already uh, derived the equation for RMS value of EMF which gives a result of 4.44 FIM T phase and where the Kw1 which is the winding factor is multiplied along with that. So in which ns is the number of slots q is slots per pole per phase of uh, 60 degrees so when kd1 is less than kp1 uh, less than 1 and ks1 is less than 1 so the winding factor is also will be less than 1 so thus rms value of per phase emf is e phase is 4.44 fim t phase into winding factor so coming to the assessment uh, let us consider a four pole generator with 16 coils has a two layer lap winding and what will be the pole pitch value so the calculate the pole pitch uh, formula is number of coils per number of poles where in the question itself they have given it as number of coils is 16 
where number of pole is 4 so the answer is 4 again so the pole pitch formula is number of coils per number of poles coming to uh, for uh, for a short pitched synchronous machine that is distribution factor uh, multiplied by pitch factor which will be always less than 1 since the KD1 and KP1 and KS1 are less than 1 only. So the already the multiplied value will be also less than 1. The another question a 3 phase alternator has 48 stator slots and 4 poles. So calculate the distribution factor. So we have already know how to uh, calculate the distribution factor. So the formula is sin m beta by 2 and uh, m sin beta by 2. So where m is uh, number of poles and beta is 180 by slots per pole. So by calculating this the distribution factor value is 0.836. So in this video we have discussed about the winding factor, pitch factor and distribution factor and how it is multiplied with the emf equation. Thank you.